All right, we're live. What's happening, guys? Welcome <laughs> back to another MLB The Show 16 live stream presented Woo! by us, the design team, the other people, Nick's doing woos and stuff. Uh, this is our seventh live stream. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the first ones, you can go to theshow.com or theshownation.com and you can watch the archives. We yeah. released some videos about the game. We released a video about franchise on what was that? that Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday? Yep. On Tuesday. Today, today's stream is about franchise and we're gonna do a round of the developer tourney. Yes, sir. Yep. Developer tourney. Oh yeah. Yep. Tournament time. Wanna show them the so, bracket? So first let's things first, let's show them the bracket real quick. Show them the bracket. Show them the bracket. Show them the bracket. All three of these guys on the couch are in the quarterfinals. No big deal. Bracket is coming. One, one thing to note though, last year's champion. Not in, not, the not in the tournament. Not in the tournament. He opted out. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he kicked Curry he, out. He retired on top. So yeah. I know you guys are seeing, hey, you've played some games. Because we didn't want to play like a million games on the stream, we played like the first round. Mm -hmm. So as you see, most of us are still in it. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so let's bring up the rules. So every live stream we do, we have a sweepstakes at 2.50 p.m. We give away 10 items. Two of those items are digital deluxe editions of the game. Those cost ninety nine ninety nine, yeah. and we're giving away two of them. Uh, one thing to note that we found out earlier this week: you cannot preload those digital deluxe editions of the game if you win them. That's unfortunate, but you're still getting a hundred dollar game. I think it's a fair trade off. So at two fifty <laughs> p.m., you want to make sure you are in the chat. At two fifty, we give away the keyword. Type in the keyword once into the chat stream, and you are automatically entered into the sweepstakes. At three o'clock, we start running the sweepstakes. We give away 10 things, and then mm -hmm. we'll probably run the developer tournament afterwards. So, this stream's about franchise mode, so let's bring yes, up is. this franchise mode feature slide. Joining me today is Luis Martinez, yep. Nick Livingston. So what we got here? For, what we got? So, I'm not going to go over the whole thing. I'll just mention the general kind of things we'll go over. Player morale All right. uh, is big. It's new this year. Uh, we've got um, player contracts and contract mm -hmm. interest. and. Uh, Kind of morale also plays in in, mm -hmm. in a different way to, to contracts. So we've got that. The big one, people are happy about stat tracking. We've got career stats for uh, pretty much all the basic stats you would want and some of the more recognizable advanced stats too. Yep. We added war. People know about that, but uh, if you didn't, uh, we added war with our own special sauce. We'll, we'll go over it later on. Ooh, war. <laughs> and we've got uh, some other improvements to the, to the budgets. Uh, to to scouting to GM goals, so so yeah, that's uh. That's, All right, so should we should we dive in it. or so? Luis yeah. is going to grab the control online franchise. People <coughs> ask about it. Uh, unfortunately, none of these features are an online franchise. But all of the online game placeability that we did and yep. the score post, so we fixed that. Rewrote so we that. Basically, rewrote that. So those are the improvements to online franchise. So let's go. Let's go. So, so you have a save file here. I have a save file, but I did want to mention that year to year saves. Year to year saves is still is in back there. in again. Still and remember, you can't skip year, so it has to be an MLB 15 show save file. Mm -hmm. Right. So I've got three save files. Let's go to the uh, the first one. This is uh, at the beginning of the 2016 season. So let's dive into player morale. Uh, so basically, uh, I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to our cover boy, Josh Donaldson. Right here. So just a little explanation of how it works. So as you can see on the screen, we've got seven categories. All right. Um, and then that's on the left. And then you can see the player's expectation for each category, his current status, and then how happy or <laughs> how unhappy he is with, with, with each category. He's got category. a little frown on Smiley his face. Smiley face. He's got a little up. frown. He wants, a, he wants a bigger deal. He wants more money. He wants yeah. to get paid. <laughs> but it's OK. He's satisfied because he's happy with everything else. Right. He's healthy. Right. His individual performance is, is up to par. Well, yeah. right now that we haven't started playing games, but you know, oh, so that's gonna go down. <laughs> or it goes up. It, I mean, and it we'll could see. could go either way. So on the right side, you'll see um, the overall kind of morale. So on the on the left, you see the individual categories, but then on the right, you see overall, and and you can see um, how it affects the player's attributes. Okay. So it affects only the the mental attributes, uh, so to speak, not the physical ones. So. Yeah. Arm strength, velocity, speed, not affected. Not affected. But K per nine, walk per nine, contact, uh, vision, discipline, those, yeah. those things are affected. So 
All right, so let's let's uh let's let's look at each category individually. Yeah. So let's go to the lineup screen. Lineups are basically what's going to set um, the player role uh, okay. expectation or morale for uh, for position players, right? Yeah. So Josh Donaldson, he is a, a star, uh, expect, expected star, and status is a star, right? But let's say, you know, we were to move him down to <laughs> oh, the, to the nine, nine hole. hole. <laughs> That's disrespect. That's disrespectful. So how how would Josh Donaldson he'd be react? He's not happy about he, it. He happy. is not happy. He's still an everyday player, but he is not happy. Because we're not meeting his expectations. Right. And so if you see the overall morale on the right, took he some went hits. To, so he took a hit. hit. What he, attributes take hits? Well, he just said. Yeah. So I mentioned the contact, power, vision, discipline, clutch. Uh, arm accuracy, because that could be a mental oh, attribute yeah, to, some, to some okay, degree. I got you, all right. And then for pitchers, the per nines, like I mentioned. So the good thing, though, is that um, players have short memories. So, uh, as in like two seconds. Right. So you, 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 if you set him back, don't worry about pissing him off. Yeah, we were just messing so, yeah. we <laughs> around. Come yeah, on, yeah. Josh. Yeah, but you know, you got to be careful. If you have too many stars on your team, then some of them are not going to be satisfied because you only have. So the, the star expectation, you need to put those guys at the three, four, and or leadoff spot. spot. Yeah. Leadoff spot. So there's there's only three spots. So so you got to play around with that and uh, and keep that in into consideration. So uh, let's look at the next category. Let's look at contract. So a guy that um, got an extension last year. Player rating still in flux. These aren't final. These are not <laughs> final. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah. So, if you guys remember, last year Christian Yelich got an extension, right? Mm -hmm. So he he got signed for uh, I guess seven years because he got signed last year. So, so he is happy about his contract. Very happy. He's only he's only got two years of service time, so he's only expecting two and a half million, but he's getting more because he got signed to that long term deal, right? So he's mm -hmm. happy. Now, who recently? Uh, there was a, an article about someone who recently who was. Uh, Kind of unhappy about. Unhappy time. about, yeah. So Mr. We, saw, Cole. we saw Garrett Cole, right? So Garrett Cole, his expectation, he He's wants pissed. to. So that 4.8 million that you're seeing there, that's kind of like um, what a long-term deal for him, buying out his uh, his remaining renewable and arbitration years would look like. Yeah. So so you're you're gonna want to give him that type of deal to yeah. to 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 keep him happy. That's awesome. So, uh, let's see what's next. Coaching. So we added, we added uh, coach attributes. Or no, I'm sorry, the, the attributes were always there, but we added a letter grade to, to make it and easier. And they work now. <laughs> right. To make it easier to see uh, how, how coaches are doing, right? Yeah. So uh, let's go to, uh, let's see. Let's go to Bud Norris. So he's got a top tier expectation for coaching, right? He's expecting top tier coaching. Disappointed. Yeah. In his not, current he's status. not happy. Not happy. So one of the best uh, managers in the league, Mike Sosha. Yeah. What does uh, Yunel Escobar think of his coaching? He's got yeah. the top tier he's expectation. Happy. He's really happy. He's got an A. He got, a, he got a little wink. Right. He right. got a little <laughs> wink. Super happy. Now, Super happy. Uh, this leads us to the next category, though, region. So region works in two ways. So for U.S.-born players, region works uh, in terms of hometown. So a player who's from California who has that expectation is going to want to play in the California teams. Now, for international players, region works uh, by having compatriots on your team. So, player from Venezuela, if there's other players from Venezuela on that on that team, mm -hmm. he's gonna he's gonna his morale is gonna get a boost, right? So, let's look at a, an example of that. Uh, Detroit, right? K. Rod, new signing for them. Mm -hmm. He's got six compatriots, nice. so he is he is ecstatic. We call it. Yeah. He's happy. He's happy. All right. So let's look at a. Uh, let's take a little. I know we had three more categories there, but we need to look at the end of the season to kind of yeah. analyze those. So let's let's just go into. Let's go to. to yeah. Scouting. Let's just go into scouting. Oh, tutorial, Matt. One of your tutorials. <laughs> All right. Oh, let me let me sim a few days here. So some of the improvements we made to scouting. Ooh, scouting. So you had been asking for this for how long? Oh Ramon, my God, the, the I've been trying to get this in, <laughs> like, and I only got in half of the design. There's another part of this design which I didn't get in. Right, which right. I'm, I'm, 
going to try to get it in next year. This is only the first part. This Always is the first part. Right. So we've got accuracy. We, we had accuracy in the past, but now it's color-coded. It's more, it's more explicit. Uh, but I guess the most important thing is we added the 2080 scale, right? Mm -hmm. So in the table, you'll see everything in increments of 5 and on the 2080 scale. And we added pretty much every attribute that a player has. Yep. Before, we used to have the tools. Mm -hmm. So now we have the every, every, every attribute. attribute. And if you, for those of you who <coughs> don't know, the 2080 scale, that is the scale that real scouts use to grade players. And like if you went to MLB.com and you right. look at the top 100 prospects, mm -hmm. you see a little line there under the prospects we would have power, we'd have, uh, power, gloves, speed, and you'd see a number from 20 to 80, and that's where that comes from. Right. Yep. So let's look at a, at an, a player card for, for, uh, for an We've improved player. the player card in Scouting yeah. 2. Got so you everything can, here. Right, and you can see on the left, that number on the left for each attribute, that's his current, uh, current value and then projected value. And you can see that over in the top right too, overall in potential. Mm -hmm. um, and now we're showing you hitter ten tendencies and the hot zone code right, over there as well. Right. So those are some of the improvements we made to, to scouting. Uh, we mentioned GM goals too. We have more GM goals. We've got more How GM goals. How many more GM goals do we have? We've got about 30. Um, so last year we only had GM rating and kind of your, your, your ownership expectations and the job offers you would get and pretty much everything was just tied to GM rating. We've added a second sort of uh, uh, metric, that's job security. So you could do well and accomplish goals, have your GM rating go up, but if you don't meet your ownership's expectations, you might you know, be looking for a new team. That happened to yeah. me last night. Right. So, <laughs> but you'll get, but since your GM rating is good, you'll get good offers. And that's what happened. Teams. I was using Milwaukee Brewers. Yeah, exactly. I spent, a, I spent three years rebuilding that roster. The roster looked good, didn't it, Luis? It looked pretty good. But because I mean, I it, was, win, it, was, it, was, it was, it was better than it is now. Like, you know, we weren't now. winning the World Series, but we, we were like a year <laughs> away from competing. It was like, no, Ramon, that's not good enough. But I got an offer from the New York Mets. Right. So and a Toronto to Blue Jays. So it worked right. out. There you go. So those are some of the goals we've added. So let's uh, let's dive back to player morale. The three categories that uh, that we left kind of kind of pending there. So we're gonna load up our end of 2016 file. 2016. Remember, year to year saves return, road to the show, and franchise still there. Can't skip years though. Right. So okay. So let's look at the. We're going to look at the team performance expectation, right? So Robinson Cano, let's look at him. He ain't, he ain't happy. He's got a team performance expectation of contender. Uh, as yeah. you can see, the, the Mariners went 68 and 94, didn't make the playoffs or anything, so he's so pissed. Dis disappointed in that. Uh, so it can go it can go both ways, though. Of course, who did well? The Astros, right? So let's look at the Astros. Hot. Ooh. They're hot. Somebody's happy. They're hot. Yeah. There you go. Everybody. Yeah. Oh, he's unhappy. Contract. 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 Happy he's gonna. Contract. He's gonna be one. He's got no yep. compatriots on his team. Right. That's another thing. So. So yeah, just showing you a little bit. Which of Which is the, actually a real big thing in real life, which I found out over right. the last years talking to MLB guys. That's right. huge. Right. All right. Let's go to the next category. Individual performance, pretty important, right? Some, yeah. you know, some some might think it's it's the yeah. most important category. So let's look at Felix, right? He's got an all-star level expectation. He's meeting it, so he's satisfied. Uh, how about Iwakuma though? All-star mm. level, and he's below, so he's he's a uh, he's a little bit unhappy about that. Let's look at his numbers. He's got a 4.30 ERA, not quite as good as what he's done in the past. Mm -hmm. So. You know, you can look at stats and compare. So that's that's basically what is taken into account in individual performance. Last category. <laughs> Ratings aren't final. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Last category. Let's go to the Mets. And I'm not trying to pick on Harvey, but in this sim, he got injured. He had a season-ending injury. Oh, again, yeah. Again. So as you can see, he has a season-ending injury. So so he's, he's pissed off about that. Yeah. Um, all right. So that's it for morale as it pertains to the regular season. Uh, let's look at some stats and progression now. This is the end of the season, so we've got a season's worth of stats. I think people are going to like this screen. So, Ooh. so we're going into 
Ah, and this is the radio team selection. Team oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention it. So if you hit R2, is it twice or three times? No, hold you hold it. it. Oh, you, you just hold, hold it. it. You hold it. So you hold it, R6, go around, around the world. Around the world. Choose whatever you want. So around the world. we've added around a world. league-wide tab in this what? screen. That's new? Yeah, so you go you go to the Giants, they're at the end of the, of the list. You go one over, this is the MLB, this is league-wide, right? So you can look at, mm. uh, at Encar Encarnacion, home run leader. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, so six six seven for Brantley. That's because he didn't have uh, too many at bats. That's why he's leading there. But you know, you can look at the, the counting stats and see see the leaderboards. Yeah. So another cool thing is uh, you can flip over to career stats. Oh, career. So Alex hit a home run today. A Rod, nice. A Rod, current current uh, hits leader, active hits leader, and uh, before we used to have position players and pitchers only. Now we have. Starters, relievers, closers, catchers, so each category. So you can very cool. You can look at a uh, very cool Luis. Yeah. Look it up. Close. Yep. All right. So this uh, our stats kind of uh, Nick, you, you you've always been pushing for stats to kind of yeah. push progression, right? Yep. And we've had that in the past, but we really took it to a new level this year. So if we go back to the season stats, let's uh. Let's just uh, toggle over here. Oh, here's some of the uh, advanced stats that Ooh, we've got. Nice. I see that W A R. What is W A R, Luis? <laughs> Wins what is above that? replacement. All right. <laughs> we've got walk percentage, K percentage. Those are pretty important. I mean, they're not hard to calculate, but they're pretty important. Uh, isolated power, bats per homer. We got stolen base runs. Luis, I've seen a couple people ask, what what WAR function are we using? Oh yeah, so I mentioned we, we're using our own special sauce. Yeah, special so sauce. We, we use kind of the standard um, positional adjustments. So obviously catchers, shortstops, they'll get more of a boost because they play the harder positions. And then first basemen, left fielders, uh, they'll get the, the biggest penalty for playing the, the easiest to field position. Yeah. Nothing's easy in the MLB. Yeah, you know. <laughs> easy. Um, and then we 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 factor in base running, we factor in uh, fielding, and we factor in hitting and pitching, of course. For the yeah. for pitching war, uh, it's basically just pitching. You know, Pit, like how they did pitching. Yeah. So. Oh, and there's there's obviously some, just like there's a positional adjustment for position players, uh, in, for pitchers there's some adjustments for whether you're a reliever or a mm -hmm. closer or a starter. So. Very cool. Let's look at um, these are uh, the leaderboards for average versus uh, lefties, right? So, oh, I'm in first baseman. Let me go to all position players. So I want to show you progression a little bit about progression. So let's sort by average versus lefties, right? Mm -hmm. So. So this is your guy. This is your guy, Nick. Mm -hmm. Misael Garcia. Right? Yep. So this is a cool example of how a guy, he hit 132 versus lefties, right? So let's look at his progression. He went down 10 points versus lefties. Now, in the past, pretty much everything was in line. Progression across all attributes was in yeah. line. If you look at this, he's a young guy. He's 24 years old. Yeah. He's on the up and up in pretty much everything, but contact versus left took a hit. Took a hit. So that adds some, some dynamic kind of... Yeah, we exactly. need him. We right. need him to hit against lefties. Yes, yes, you need him. So that's an example of a guy who went down, who went up. So if we sort by average versus lefties, look at a guy like Brock Holt. So, Ooh, so plus, plus nine. Plus nine. Savage life. Hit 358 versus lefties that one year. So. Same sort of deal. He's a young player. He's he's progressing upwards. Oh, the the arrow. Uh, notice the chevrons. Arrow by, yeah, by the uh, the chevrons in the attributes, and then mm -hmm. overall in potential also have arrows. Yeah, uh, that's that's new. Very cool. So that's a little bit about uh, progression. So let's see what's next. So much chevrons. All right. So let's. Uh, I I saw someone at the beginning of the stream. Uh, Asking who are your World Series favorites yeah. for this year? So White Sox, obviously. Yeah. So, let's be, but let's be real. Let's uh. Let, yeah, let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> let's simulate 2016. This is what we. This is what happened uh, in the 2016 simulated season. This is the 
with non-finished ratings. With non-finished ratings. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> But it looks, I mean, it looks pretty, looks pretty good. Yeah. Pittsburgh, back in Washington. Yep. So let's, let's, see, let's see who wins. It's in day by day. Pirates won the wild card. Red Sox won the Red Sox. wild card. All right. So <clears throat> team field of eight is set. Some similar teams. Oh, come on, Toronto. Blue Jays, back to the ALCS. Dodgers. Dodgers. There we go. Kyle. Kyle's clapping. <laughs> Kyle's clapping. Astros and Mets. So it looks pretty similar to last year. Yeah. Uh, so let's let's keep going. Dodgers. Oh. <laughs> Astros. Astros. Oh, there we go. All right. Dodgers. Astros. Let's see. And the Dodgers. Oh, oh, Kyle. Kyle. Oh, Kyle. Oh, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, Come on, Kyle. Kyle. Kyle now, I must say, I, I no set way. this up. I, I hacked it in so the Dodgers... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. So, let's off look at... Off-season. Is that what we're going? We're going off-season? We're going to look at the budget screen oh, first. All right. So, let's look at the budget screen. It's a whole new screen. Uh, we've got, just like we had seven categories for morale, we've got, uh, I think it's, what is that, nine categories for budget. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we've got team revenue, that makes up the most of the money you'll see coming into your team. Purchase funds, uh, sponsorships, uh, postseason bonus. So if you see the, the Dodgers right there, Dodgers just won the <laughs> World Series, so they got a big bonus. There's a zoom in button, so that's what I just did right now. Mm -hmm. See, the 10 million is kind of small compared to just the team mm -hmm. revenue, yeah. but, but if you zoom in, you can see some, some sort of differences between the lower, lower uh, graphs, or the smaller graphs. Very cool. Uh, let's look at the, uh, one of the two new things we added from real life, the, which is the luxury tax. Yep. So the, the giants came out, uh, Paying, paying some money in the competitive balance tax. Yep. So basically, if you look at the bottom of the screen too, we have a threshold there. So uh, the rule works that if you go past the threshold, um, some percentage of how much you go past it by will be, uh, well, you'll have to pay out, right? Yeah. Revenue sharing, so the top 15 and the bottom 15 teams in the league, or everyone puts, puts their money in a pool, and then the bottom 15 teams get money back, and then the top 15 teams paid out, right? So the Padres, they end up getting money yeah. in, in revenue sharing while the Giants pay out. So this, this kind of goes in line with market size and all that. And then on the right, you see the traditional salaries, right? Player salaries, coach salaries, scout salaries. Cool. Now, another thing we added is the future budget screen, right? Mm -hmm. So this future budget screen shows your your 2016 payroll, yeah. but then all the way up to 2020. So you can yeah. see all your commitments of all the way up to 2020. Love it. Right? So the Giants have a lot of money committed in 2020. Oh How, yeah, million you, loaded contract. Right. Padres, no, no, no money. No money. <laughs> no money committed. Lance not committed. Lance. Doesn't mean they don't have money, they just don't have money committed yep. to 2020. Yeah, we don't right? like signing people in long term. Anything things. can happen with so, Padres yeah. by 2020. So let's, let's look at how this can be useful, right? You can go to the, let's say, the, uh, the Orioles. Okay, when is Manny Machado going to hit free agency? Yeah. And that's 2018, Ooh. Arbitration right? year in 2017. Right. Let's go to, um, let's go to someone like, uh, like this guy right here. Bryce Harper. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be expensive. When is he yeah. going to be a free agent? He's going to 2018. be 2018. 2018. Is there a pattern here? There is a big pattern. Where? When is Jose Fernandez going <laughs> to be a free agent? So let's go to 2018. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> it's going to be a big free agent year. Yep. Yes. They're talking about it already. So we've got a 2018 save file. Let's go. Let's go. So who made it to free agency? Because that's another consideration. These guys could get signed before yeah. 2018, right? We go to manage contracts. Goldschmidt made it. Harper, Harper made it, Fernandez made it, Harvey made it, but it's Machado. Top loaded class. He got yeah. signed. Machado was absent. Machado so, got his money. So let's let's look at uh, what happened with Machado. Yep, he got his he money. He got his money. He got his money. Before a so lot he, of it. Right. So that happens. The CPU does that. You can do that too. You know, before just to to kind of take advantage of of uh, you know 
buying out a guy's arbitration and, 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 uh, and renewable years, right? And yep. not wait until he becomes a free agent. Happens a lot. Right. So since we're in the off season, let's look at the, uh, the contract interest logic, right? Oh, sorry, wrong screen. So let's look at, uh, let's look at, let's look at Andrew Miller, all right? Andrew Miller, we go in, we try to make an offer to him. So on the right side, you can see the, there's four categories for contract interest. In morale, we had seven. There's four when you're trying to sign a guy. And so uh, we also added a in real time, updates in real time contract interest bar. You can see I'm yeah. increasing the terms right here. <laughs> oh, and it changes color too. I love that. <laughs> uh, you can increase terms. Then we also added a role, right? So he is expecting, Andrew Miller is expecting to be the closer. That's what we're offering. Oh, not so happy. If, we, no, Abby. Yeah, if we if we put him in the bullpen, contract interest still got goes some, down. Yeah, a chunk of interest though. A chunk of interest, yeah. But this year, you have to pretty much be the highest bidder or have the highest uh, contract interest in a guy. Not necessarily the highest bidder, yeah. but the highest contract interest, because uh, a lot of the randomness that we had in the past that people complain about, it's it's only going to be uh, somewhat random when the interests are so close together yeah. that it's hard it to tell apart. Yeah. But if you blow another team's offer out of the water, then it's going to be pretty deterministic. Mm -hmm. So let me show you the difference uh, that the morale for interest can make. So we're offering Miller seven years, twenty-eight million, um, but he wants to play close to home, and he's from Florida. Um, and he wants to play for a contender, right? Mm -hmm. So the A's, he's unhappy about those things with the A's. Um, what happens if, if, uh, if the Marlins, say, offer him a deal? Mm. So see, did you notice yeah. the, the contract interest? It's almost maxed out for, a, for the same seven year, or seven same million, million stay in sunny Miami. Right. Can't blame him. So, yeah. so that's kind of the, it, it's not, so it's, it adds a layer of depth depth, but you can still, um, but it's not going to be impossible to not to sign the guy if, yeah. if, if he is unhappy about those things, but it's just going to be harder. Right? Pay the man. You just got to yeah. pay him more money. <laughs> so how do we do that? We go back to the A's, give him more, more years, we give, give him a player option. We like that. And then just jack And the player up, option is, up. so since you have player, that's five years with the last year being a player option, That's right? correct. That's correct. The last year of that six-year deal will be a will player, be player option. Will be the player option. Right. You can also have a club option, but the, he, he, like he, he won't like that too yeah. much. Yeah, <laughs> seeing that a lot in new contracts this year. Right. So let's look at um, let's look at Goldschmidt here, for example. Uh, role. So when offering him a role, he wants the star role, which means third, third yeah. place hitter, cleanup guy. If you offer him an everyday job, which is you know that's the thing Second I mentioned at the, the beginning. Lineup. Right, you can, you have to balance how many stars you, you you have on your team. Otherwise, you, as we saw with Donaldson, he he went down from a ninety six to a ninety two. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's it's a it's a layer of depth to, to managing. Since your, we're on the contract stream, I saw Millennium had a question: in season contract extensions? Not this year, not this year. We 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 want to do it, but yeah. not, not this year. Yeah, we looked we, at there were only eight <clears throat> this year. I believe about ten or twelve last year. So There's not too many guys, yeah. Not too many guys that happen to, so it right. get, that gets kicked down the road for maybe next year. Yeah. And we have a short cycle here, so you yeah. know, it's not an excuse, but there's only so much you can do in each nine to ten month cycle. We got a lot. Yeah. Uh, one, one minor detail, but uh, we used to only show career stats in the off season. Uh, see in the top left? Those are last year's stats now. Uh, that's we we can do that now with all the career stats that we've, yeah. that we've added. So you can see how you know just exactly what he's being kind of graded on. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it for uh, for for, for contracts. contracts. Anything else you want to talk about? Logic changes. I know there was some player generation logic changes. Yeah. So um, can we see who signs these guys? Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dodgers. I almost forgot. About <laughs> Dodgers. So let's uh, let's sim. Let's go, White Sox. Make a move. So Andrew Miller signed with the Cubs. Boo! <laughs> <laughs>
White Sox. Okay. Right. Somebody's written. written. Nick's happy. Yep. I mean, that's a, that's a well, this is, you know strategic move. They're not done oh, yet though. Oh, Patrick Corbin left Arizona. So, yeah, we uh, I didn't mention this, but this is this is the new blockbuster signing or blockbuster trade or big free agent signing screen. Very cool. So you know it kind of keeps you connected to the league instead of um, it just being um, sort of a selection box or, yeah. or you having to go to transactions to to you know. To seek Very out cool. that information, AJ All Pollock, right. another guy Here's who's on the over, Tigers. went to Detroit. It's a good deal. There's a trade right there. Ooh, nice. Britain just got trade. Yeah, so, so it was a like sign a, and nice. trade. Sign and trade. <laughs> Making moves. Harper went there to we the go. Dodgers. No, Dodgers. come on. It's the the Dodgers. Get out the Dodgers of here. stream. <laughs> Harper's fishing for a World Series. Yep. Only in a video game. Goldie, where did Goldie go? <laughs> whoa, whoa. whoa. We missed oh, Goldie. Yeah, we missed, we missed Goldie. Goldie. Let's, let's where did Goldie go? Goldie, right there. Signed. Let's see. He got he got paid. Goldie got paid. This is the uh, transaction screen. Yeah, this is the full summary of all of them. There he is. Rangers. So <laughs> he went to the Rangers. Seven year, two hundred <laughs> two hundred and seventeen million dollars. Nice. Deal. We'll get traded to the Yankees next year. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. So, yeah, do, do we want to go into a game now? Yeah. Or? Is it time for, want to go into a franchise game or a tourney? Is it, is it tournament so time? So I know, I know that Matt wanted to show uh, the, the Philly <laughs> Stadium. Philly Stadium. So why don't we do that? Oh, uh, what a nice guy. What a nice guy. Nice Look at that, Matt. <laughs> Going to show Philly. All right. So do coaching attributes improve or go down over time? In franchise mode, or do they stay the same? I think they're static. I think they're static. And as we mentioned in the beginning of the stream, none of the new franchise changes made it online. There's only so much we can do in a cycle, and both those modes use completely different code bases. So the online programmer and the offline franchise programmer is the same guy. He only has seven months to work. Uh, so we looked at the numbers: 45,000 people played online franchise. Over 500,000 people played offline franchise, so naturally, <laughs> offline franchise got the development love. I see a question here asking if the blockbuster trade, signer mm -hmm. trade screen is in PS3. It is. Cool. It is. Hot. All right. All right. So let's just. So this is what's uh, what year is this that we're going into? I saw you. This is just reloading. the. This is just the beginning. Beginning of, of this year. Yeah. yeah. 400. Right. Yep. You want to do the honors? Sure. Get warm. We get warm for this tournament later. Ramon's going to have to... Who's, who's, who's going well, first in the... Uh, what round are we in, Chase? Quarterfinals. Quarterfinals? So, me and you, I think. Are we going to go first? We should, I think I we know. should save that, get a break? That, that for the, like, the last game. We could make... Uh, so, it's going to be... Bill and the, the Toronto Blue Jays. Bill and Lance. Bill and Lance. I think it's one. Luis and Marcus. Yep. Ooh, and, uh, the cheeser. Marcus is the cheeser. Kyle and Connor. Is Lance in here? Yeah. Is Lance yeah. in here? Yeah. You're rearing to go, You Lance? and Bill first? Yeah. All right, go and get him. Um, <coughs> Any three-team trades? No three-team team trades. I wanted to, so someone mentioned, or you mentioned uh, player generation yeah. changes. So we just refined the, the way the, the physical attributes are generated and okay. how, they, how they progress, too. So speed, you're going to see some like 95, 99 speed. Because that doesn't uh, generate anymore. It doesn't go up and down. Right. It, only, it actually only goes down now with, uh, with time. So, and then the same thing with, with velocity. So, so those are some of the, just in general, some of the changes that, that we made. Ball boy, feel in this position. <laughs> Can you edit coaches? Whoa. No editing no, coaches. No, not this year. <clears throat> New trade logic. Changes the trade logic. Yes. So we made some changes there. Uh, we made it so that um, the sort of 90-plus uh, rated guys, the, the real superstars in the league, are. Whoops. it's more unlikely oh, that man, they'll be traded. Um, I play with analog throwing, <laughs> typically. Yeah, whatever. He's you going to challenge, challenge it? it? That didn't look like... Uh, played a challenge, to be honest. I think anyway, keep it. going. Luis? Yeah, so, so some, some of those trades that... Uh, that involve the, the, the very best players in the league are, are now uh, harder, like they, they happen less frequently and they're harder to, to pull off, basically. And so, uh, a couple of other, like, smaller refinements. 
Um, but so yeah, I was like, no, I don't want to do it. Like, you made me walk out here for nothing. Like, oh, you walk so, all the way out here. Mm-hmm. Well, it's still, it's still bull, man. Even though he, we're Shaking not challenging, it's like still bull. Slap, shit, you do it again. I like those shoes he's got right there. Oh, new hara- Those are harachis. That's a problem. Play it off the wall. Let's go. No, you can't it's trade cash. Merch. No three-team trades. That's what happens. You make an error? Yeah, we actually updated our prospects' appearance a little. They should look a little bit better. Yikes, man. Well, someone wants to know if you're wearing baseball pants. Uh, I actually am, yes. <laughs> Marcus, so we're doing Marcus and who? Marcus and Luis, uh-oh. Is that the first game? It's going down. Oh, are you going to put Luis on the spot like Marcus that, Marcus and Luis. I think I need to go to the bathroom. All right, we're going to go night out. D? I, come on, no. I, I, don't, I don't have to Why don't to we? Go. Well, uh... Yeah, all right. We could make. Uh, we could try to make Compton and Kyle play too. Are we coming up on Compton the uh, sweepstakes? Kyle. Not yet. We got some minutes. So we'll let we'll let Nick continue to make a fool of himself. Oh, I see. Will the All Star patches be removed from the San Diego Padres uniforms in year two? No, they will not. Our uniform sizes. Oh my. The files are pretty big, Show. and we don't really patch uniforms. That's a good pitch. So no, yeah. we can't remove those patches because we have to recut all of the uniforms. Hey, don't you worry, guys. You guys uh, betting on me for the tournament. I'm gonna be using different interfaces. I'm just, uh, just getting, just fooling around. Is there Look anything to recognize as a World Series champion? I don't know. We have to ask Clayton. Is Clayton, Clayton here? He's not back there. He is not. What's the keyword? We're giving it away mm-hmm. at 2:50 p.m. Not just yet. Not just yet. We uh, we discussed the keyword for a good 15 minutes today. <laughs> so, yeah, we did. Like, what's the keyword going to be today? Oh, Marcus is here. Is player regression fixed? Was it broken last year? Compton's here, too. Player regression? Yeah. Well, I mean, older players will regress. Like, we're, we're, not, we're not getting rid of that. If you're 40 years old or if you're 39 years old, you start to you're going to regress. Now, as you saw during the stream, uh, like with uh, Abisail Garcia and Brock Holt, their contacts went up significantly. So those older players can also have those sort of years. And so that will slow down their regression since we pushed up, you know, performance-based. That's right, because pr- the younger guys, when but the younger guys progress, we yes. have to have the older guys regress or but the game just yeah, breaks. They're going to regress, but, but it'll be slowed down to some extent. Are you down to play, or do you want to try to make Kyle and Compton play? Kyle, I can, is I can, Kyle and Compton here? I can play. Yeah. You, oh, you ready? You Luis is ready. Is, is Marcus ready? ready? Marcus is ready. All right. All right. Luis ready. Marcus ready. Is it going to be nine innings? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Quick Go counts. ahead. All right. Marcus, do you want to do quick? You don't have to. You ready? No. Let's go. Bring him on. All right. Turn, the us, turn, turn us off. Because Marcus, sh- Marcus. Do we have to mic him up? Probably should be uh, quick counts. We can mic him up if you want to. Don't mic him up? Right. Don't mic him up. Do you want to be mic'd up, Marcus? I don't. Can we trust you? Wait, wait, because we're, we're still showing the couch. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. You come on. Cut the feed. Marcus! <laughs> Have you ever been on the stream? Never been. Never been, huh? Still hasn't been. So let me be careful here not to show bam, bam, offline. All right, yep. so that's one controller. Where's the other? 